Hey everybody, I'm going to make a MGTO video on how I discovered MGTO, or more like how MGTO discovered me. I just, growing up and even going through school, I never had good repertoires with the girls I went to school with. I never went to prom, I never went to dances, I never dated girls from my school, I never did anything like that. Even as an adult, I date women from 30 minutes away. But uh, that's a separate subject. <clears throat> but um, I just never liked the traditional roles expected of men. Okay, I do. I didn't want to grow up and work all day and have a you know bring money in the house and have a wife take money out of the house. That never seemed right to me. I never saw the appeal in getting married and having kids. Just the the, the people around me, and when, especially when I got older into high school. You know, someone uh, close to the family was divorced. The This guy was just raked through the coals by his, his wife. I mean, she just knocked him for a loop. He is still in... Uh, this was... <laughs> 20 years ago that he was divorced and he's still in financial problems. Still had, he still has financial problems because of this divorce. And his kids were older too. So it isn't like she hit him up for child support. He's, that's something, I guess. He just had to pay a child support, I think, for maybe two years. And that was, that was it. And this man made very good money. Very good money. Very prestigious job. And she just... Walked out the door. All her fault. She started uh, fooling around. And uh, I, I think she'd done it before. And he said, I, I'm sick of this. I'm done. You know, we're through. And she said, uh-huh. You're through all right. Through the freaking uh, hot coals. But <clears throat> this, this divorce always was in the back of my mind. I just always kind of knew that I didn't want to get married or get divorced. I didn't know what MGTO was yet. I kind of knew in the back of my mind that I didn't want to get married or have kids. And then I was probably 30. When another, um, when a family member was uh, going to get married, found a girl and he was going to get married. And I, I kind of remember this and... He said, uh, you know, he was going to ask her to marry her, or um, he was going to ask her to marry him. I said, fine, you know, and all that. And then after he got engaged, I mean, I was over, I was over 30. I was a MGTO, but I didn't really know what MGTO was. But after he got engaged, everyone in the family, well, the cricket chirps, I just remember being bombarded by all this stuff with the wedding. They're getting married and just, oh, it's wonderful. They're getting married. Oh, the wedding and the marriage and the, where are they going for their honeymoon? And, you know, everything about the wedding this and the wedding that and food for the wedding and clothes for the wedding. Because I was a groomsman in the wedding, which, you know, that was, that was fine. That was an interesting experience. I didn't, I had no legal obligations. You know? It was important to this person that I could be a groomsman, so I did it. It was no big deal. Two and a half years ago now, so. It's all done and over. But just bombarded with all this stuff, everything, all things, the wedding. Everything the wedding. And I just, my mind, like, man, I just cannot take this crap anymore. I'm just getting freaking sick of it. Damn. Just everything, day after day, nonstop. Everything about the wedding. The food and the clothes and damn. So I just, mm, in my mind, like... This is it. I am never getting married, and I am never having kids. And people just looked at me when I said that like I was crazy. Like, no, like you need to get married. Marriage, getting married and having children is the keys to happiness in life. And no. No, that was not going to work for me. That was not going to work at all. And I just, <clears throat> I had uh, the fast internet by that time. <laughs> Thank God for the internet. Before that was just that dismal uh, uh, dial-up. <laughs> Can't get anything done on dial-up. So I had the fast internet, and I just got on Google. 
and I just typed into Google, what do you call a man who never wants to get married or have kids? And I, some things popped up, you know, a lot of stuff like, oh, like, why do you want to do that? You know, getting married and having kids is the key to happiness. And I just you know, skipped right by that stuff. And I saw something on there, and it, it had a capital, in capital letters, M-G-T-O-W. I thought, what the hell is that? Like, is it? I had no idea what that was. I didn't know what that was. I'd never heard of that. I'd never seen that. No idea. Not the foggiest clue. And I clicked on it. I don't even remember what link it was. If it was a YouTube video that I clicked on or just some some site with a story about the MGTOW movement or what. I don't even remember what it was. But I just remember clicking that and whatever I saw it was almost like uh, like I went into shock. Like I can't remember what it is because I went into shock. And of course I saw that and I was like, there's like a whole, a whole movement of these single childless men. You know, most are just, um, you know, unmarried. I suppose there are MGTOWs that have kids. But like I said, like the top level MGTOWs, I don't think, uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a true top level MGTOW uh, has never been married will never get married, doesn't have kids, and will never have kids. I think that's what got true, a hardcore MGTO. Because that's what I was. That's what I always kind of was. I was always kind of on the fence, kind of like a, a purple pill, you know, in that area. You know, I voted Democrat. Yeah. But I never felt comfortable as a liberal. I never felt comfortable as a Democrat. I never felt comfortable with it. I think I think uh, getting into MGTO and then I got into MGTO and I found that, you know, a MGTO is uh, also, you know, they're guys that don't get married or have kids, but they're also um, they have to take care of themselves. They're maybe not like hardcore preppers or crazy right wing nut job conspiracy theorists. I am kind of a conspiracy theorist, but not hardcore, but yeah, I think MGTOs do think differently politically. We do live differently prepping for disasters. I think, you know, probably a lot of MGTOs have a week's worth of food in their house, they have uh, different things like that. But um, I think a lot of MGTOs are uh, libertarian, probably mostly Republican, but you know, libertarian, conservative guys, I think. But yeah, I started moving in to the MGTO movement, or it started moving in on me, and it's just been great. I got onto YouTube, tons of great stuff on YouTube. Tons of great stuff on YouTube of MGTOs. Oh, man, just incredible. I'm not going to drop a bunch of names, but <clears throat> incredible. You know, just, well, I mean, I know there's, there's Barbar. He's very popular. There's Sandman. Very popular. But like I said, there's just, there's tons. There's a, a, a guy who points out all the misandry in the media. There's a guy out in, uh, Washington State, who's a, a diesel mechanic and a prepper. That guy's awesome. I remember clicking on one of his videos. It just popped up on YouTube, and I was like, who's this guy? Kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of nerd or something. And I was like, I'm not sure about this guy. And just 10 minutes later, I mean, I'm just clicking through his videos. I mean, I can't click on them quick enough and watch his videos. They're just fantastic videos that guy does. Every day I get on the computer. It's the first thing I do. Type in that guy's uh, YouTube name and see if he has a new video up. Fantastic. Kind of cool. He has all these alternative investments. and He's into Bitcoin. and He bought a big house. 
And then he had his, his dad move in with him. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Renting a room out to your dad. Yeah. My house is going to be my rules. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, he's probably my favorite. But, yeah, there's tons of MGTOWs, the, the popular MGTOWs. Yeah, you just click through, just click through everything. And just, you know, take that red pill and let the MGTO seep in. Then wash away the the uh, the feminism bull crap and let it wash away all the crap you've been fed to by the media. And just uh, let MGTO, MGTO will set you free. Doesn't matter what race you are, that don't matter. Long as you're a straight male, I mean, MGTO can add a lot of value to your life. Not just uh, physical assets. I'm not talking about money and a, and a car and a house and, you know, stuff like that. But peace of mind. Peace of mind. You know, you don't, you don't have to put up with a woman and her crap. You can have a girlfriend. You don't have to get married. She starts pushing that crap, kick her and go find someone else. Don't, you know, I mean, kick her, uh, metaphorically speaking. Don't be kicking women. Prisons are full enough. So, yeah. <clears throat> I've actually been a MGTO most of my, uh, you know, from the time I was a, a young man. <clears throat> but I've been an official MGTO for about three years. I'm 34, so I was 31 when I found MGTO. Or when MGTO found me, however you want to look at it. And it's, it's great. It works for me. It works for a lot of guys. And a lot of things in your life you're just not sure of. you got to prepare for. You're just not sure what to do. You just don't know where to go. You know? And when you don't know, you just go MGTO. That's what I did, and it works for me. So... All right, this is Arctus Bushort. Hope you like this video. If you do like it, click like. Or, uh, you know, thumbs down, whatever you want to do. It's all cool. Uh, please like and subscribe. That's all I have for now. Thank you and goodbye.